So our next uh, portion of the project is we're going to create a toolpath with um, our newly created vector image. So once again, I'm going to drag my mouse over our dragon. Going over into the project pane, I'm going to click on toolpaths. And in the toolpath section, we're going to use a deep bit carving toolpath. And if you'll uh, recall when we talked in project one, we use a bit carving toolpath because we want to retain the geometry, uh, this, the, the sharp edges of the uh, image that we've selected. So a uh, vector association, we're going to use our selected vectors. Our start depth is going to be at zero, which is the top of our material. We're going to limit our maximum tool depth to 0.125 inches, as you can see in our settings here. And that's to make sure that we don't over-machine this. Um, we may have some larger areas to machine, and if we don't set the maximum depth, then it's going to machine them quite deep. And in our uh, tool directory, we're going to pick a 90-degree V-bit as our tool to do the machining. We are not going to use a roughing tool, as you can see here, but we do need to define our material size. So our material setup, you can see that our model thickness is uh, not been defined yet because we haven't created a tool path, but we're going to set our material thickness at three quarters of an inch, and both our material is at zero, and our model position of the material both at the top of the block. Material is at zero, of course, is important because it will give us the reference point off the top of the material. Because we're not working with a 3D model in this particular project, model position in the material is not all that relevant. And we will click Calculate Now. And our toolpath is being calculated. We're going to close that D-bit carving window. And we're going to simulate our project to ensure that it is exactly what we're looking for. And you can see it creating the toolpath. And as we zoom in, just to take a quick look at what our project might look like once we're finished machining it. And you can see that we've created the dragon uh, pretty much exactly the way we saw it in the image. And now all that's left to do is to uh, save the toolpath. So we click on Save Toolpaths. You can see we only have the one toolpath selected, which is the V-bit carving, 90 degree V-bit. Uh, we're going to uh, save this. We're going to browse and save this to our desktop. And we will rename this uh, Dragon. We'll actually call it Dragon 2. And you can see that we're using our I general iCarver.dat um, machine file format or post-processor. Click Save. And our toolpath's been saved, and uh, we're ready to machine this project.